All right, what's up folks? It's your man, 100 Days of Summer. In this video, what I wanna talk about is how I became the stroke genius. This started years ago, maybe 2014, I think, 14, 15, somewhere around there. Um, there was a thing called Eggplant Friday, which is basically women looking at men's dick prints. But what it made me want to understand was how do, how do you create things like that that make women um, thirst online? A woman can post a picture of her face and a man will leave his entire phone number in, in the description, in, in the comments below. How do you get a woman to respond that way online? I wanted to know how to do that. I created a separate page and I tried multiple different versions of content. The first layer of content was literally a dick print and with the hashtag Eggplant Friday. Ironically, the only people that liked it and left comments were homosexual men. That made me have to redo the content because I recognized that regardless if, if uh, whether a man is straight or gay, we all want to see the nudes. <laughs> like that's what we are looking for. And women need a bit, uh, a different type of content. So what I ended up landing on was sharing a sex story, one of my sex stories that taught me about vaginal orgasms. And that did good. The response was, you should write a book. Um, is this real stories? You should write erotica, stuff like that. It wasn't like the Eggplant Friday response, but it was still a response. I found that content that was creating that um, chemical reaction in women that would make them take a physical action. The same way a man can just see a picture and take that physical action. So I continued to share stories. As I was sharing stories, what ended up happening was women started DMing me and saying, I've never experienced that. I've never had a vaginal orgasm. I've never squirted before. Ask me things like, how can I share this information with my boyfriend or with my husband? After receiving messages like that consistently, like a certain pattern of that, I started to recognize that there was a problem. I'm a marketer. So that basically the way that you make money as an entrepreneur and as a marketer is you solve problems. That's, that's pretty much it. You find problems that nobody else is solving or solving correctly, and then you solve the problem. So over a pattern of me hearing basically what is market research on what is what what that demographic of people was suffering from it helped me to know what type of product to craft and the product was basically packaging my information in a step-by-step -step way that any man could follow but also being a being able to present it in a way that resonated with what women were telling me in my dms that men needed to hear um, without them being offended. That's the reason why I use titles like How I Discovered the Secret to Giving Women Clitoral Orgasms um, in Under Five Minutes, something like that, because that appeals to a man. It doesn't necessarily appeal to a woman because women always say, why has it gotta be so fast? It's not, about the it's not about the time, but you have to recognize that I'm trying to help you by speaking to a logical man. That title gets the man to tune in, right? Because then his ego isn't, isn't being bruised. Now he's gonna learn something that benefits him, right? Does this, now it's not gonna take him as long when he's down there because he's gonna know exactly what to do this that type of situation that's that's what the mind is thinking he looks at that information and then in the video i say things that relate to what the women told me in my dm so i'm saying their problems back out to people and then women hear that and say uh i relate to that and then they leave a comment which is called social proof when a man what listens to my video and says bullshit he scrolls to the comments and then he sees all these women saying he's right so then he has to tuck his ego and his pride inside again and then go back and listen. So the goal is then to get the information to spread further and further, which is why I create the visual content, the demonstration videos that actually show people how to do it step by step by step. Because the reason why we're in this, this problem now is because we were indoctrinated on how to have sex through porn. The way to get out of that is going to be the same thing creating content that shows the proper way to do it that becomes just as publicized or it goes as far as porn would you make it logical for a man hey it's just this simple bro it works like this xyz it's like oh i could do that it's very simple and then he will he will be addicted to making you orgasm because it'll be so simple for him because a logical man ha now has concrete steps to follow as opposed to it being abstract you have to connect and da -da -da. we can't understand those things but i can tell you one thing based on the testimonials that i've gotten it's much easier for a woman to open herself up to be submissive to be more loving nurturing put herself in that state of vulnerability where she feels that connection with the man when he is giving her that type of sexual satisfaction what we typically see is a coping me mechanism in our society where people are trying to find all these abstract solutions as to solve the problem why women aren't having orgasms when the problem is no one's teaching the anatomy of the vagina. So that is the long story of how I became a stroke genius and why I decided to start doing research as uh, into how to give women vaginal orgasms. 
All right. We can talk about anything you want in the comments. It's all good. I thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. All right. Peace.